it's your girl Megan all right so really quickly I'm just gonna show you how I make my brother cream icing um, it's really easy you can use it to frost cakes frost cupcakes even frost cookies it's only like a few ingredients you'll need confectioner sugar or powdered sugar um, some unsalted butter vanilla or whatever type of um, flavoring you want your buttercream to have then you want to use that um, flavor and some whole milk and that's it so before we go ahead and get started I have my powdered sugar here which I'm going to go ahead and sift into this bigger bowl there you go the amount of powdered sugar that you use will depend on how much frosting you're going to make but you definitely want to sift your sugar <laughs> we got the hard part out of the way so let's cream together the sugar the butter and the butter And we're gonna have add half of this way. Add half of your sugar to your mixer. Look at it fly. Starting on low. Ooh, That's why I said low. So you really want to whisk this until or blend this. You can use your whisk attachment if you want. I've done it both ways. It's really just your preference. Um, but you want to blend it together until the butter and the sugar has started to incorporate it and then you want to add in the rest of your sugar so now that I just crank it up one more start it off on low so that you don't get powdered sugar everywhere starting to get there. So give it just a little bit of time. There you go. So now that it's formed, now you want to add in the rest of your sugar. And While that's in there, you want to go ahead and add in your vanilla. Again, starting on low. Once it starts to grab, crank it up one more. So at this point, you want to crank it up to almost the highest speed that you have and let it blend for at least five minutes. Right, turn it down just a little bit. As you can see, it's really thick. So what your milk is going to do is... What your milk is going to do is actually just cause it to thick and just become really creamy. So right now, it's at a point that you can't do anything with it. It hasn't whipped for the five minutes, but I already see it's not 
doing anything. So I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of milk at a time. is already starting to loosen up now it'll allow you to whisk it more or to blend it more you want it to do that so that it can get some air and become fluffy so that you can spread it or pipe it Just by looking at it, I can already tell that it's not going to be as thick or the consistency that I want. So I'm going to add in probably about another half a tablespoon of milk. Now point you just want to scrape your bowl down and then you can check the consistency of your buttercream and it still feels a little thick to be able to pipe so I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk and then we should be good. But if you were going to color your frosting all one color, then this will be the best time to add that to it and then let the mixer do its job or do the work for you. So, best way to check it, I mean, it'll be, if you can get it and spread it, it's the right consistency to, like, do your cakes or your cupcakes. But if you are, like, piping it, then you definitely don't want it to be super thick because then that's going to tire out your hands when you're trying to squeeze it. But, if you can pick it up, and it doesn't fall off without a lot of work you're good because that's the consistency that you want all right so have some good buttercream frosting there thank you guys for watching be sure to give us those big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and share this video on all of your social media however you see fit all right guys bye hey family thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching please be sure to follow us on facebook twitter and instagram also, check out our latest video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys.